Let's dive straight into the workflow and see what it's doing. First of all, we're using Llama for a scout along with the MCP server from Perplexity to search for things like search for news related to AI element advancements from the past week. The first thing it should do, which it did correctly, is list the available tools from Perplexity and then use one of those tools with the execute tool. Nice, so that was done correctly. The result we got was efficiency and parameter optimization. Let's see if it mentions anything about the new Llama releases. Actually, no, this is more of an overview and I believe this is because of perplexity or because of the way that it called the perplexity tool. And we can check that in the logs right over here where we can head over to the perplexity use and see how it fetched for that. So it basically said, what are the recent advancements in LLM in AI? And then this is what perplexity brought back. Let's see if that would be different if we were using Claude Sonnet 3.7. So let's hook that up right there, save, and then re-execute this. Yeah, so this is the result we just got, latest AI and LLM advancements, which is pretty much better. And it's probably better because of the way that Claude 3.7 Sonnet used the perplexity tool. Let's head over to the logs perplexity use, and then it correctly stated what are the latest news and advancements in AI and large language models from the past week. Focus on significant developments, breakthroughs, or announcement. This is way better, but it's just the way that Claude 3.7 organized its query to fetch that. If we were to compare the execution time for both, you'll see that Claude 3.7 took basically double the time that Alama afforded, and Alama is a very cheaper model. So if you want to try it out for yourself in this video, I'll explain how to use the new Olama 4 model in NAN for free because we'll be using Grok and Grok has these pricings for on demand. I have signed up for it, but you only need to do that if you surpass 6,000 tokens per minute. If that's not your case, you'll be using it completely for free. And after that, I'll show how you can add the perplexity MCP tool inside of NAN. To integrate Llama 4, it's really intuitive. All you have to do is go over to console.grok.com slash keys. In here, you'll hit create API key, type in something pretty secure like that, submit, Grab that, go back to your workflow inside of your credentials, which should be up here. You'll click in create new credential and then just paste in your API key right here. When you hit save, you might get this connection tested successfully, which means that you are successfully connected. You'll want to go down to the drop down menu for the model selection and select Meta Llama for Scout. And currently, I don't have access to the Maverick version because it should be launching later today. Maybe by the time that I publish this video, it will already be launched. As it seems, it's a much better model. So let me know in the comment section if you tried it out and if it actually is better. Then just attach the chat model to your AI agent. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now let's add perplexity MCP tool to NAN. Check out this video where I explain how you can install these MCP nodes inside of NAN. And if you are inside of the AI Forge community, you'll notice a well-documented page where you can refer to that as well to integrate these nodes. After you're done with that, let me delete these tools I have right here so we can start from fresh. Type in MCP, you'll have this client execute tool and actually you will want to list the available tools. So just list tools. Up here, you'll want to click on this dropdown, hit create new credential, go over to the documentation and understand that the command to run this is npx followed by a Y and server perplexity ask. You could just do this. And as for the environments, all we need to do is select perplexity API key. Let's click expression. So we actually see what we're typing in. Go over to perplexity, generate a new API key, grab that API key, head back, place that in there, hit save and you should be all set. Now I did create the actual node. That's not what we want. We want a tool. So just click the tool, select that list tools, and then select the account that you just placed in for your MCP client. Let me delete this. Let me duplicate that, attach the tool like this. And now for this tool, instead of listing tools, I want it to execute a tool. Who is going to select this tool name is going to be the LLM. Just hit equal, which will open up the expression field, place this and then from AI. 
what you'll type in here is tool name. So you can specify to the AI what goes in here. And as for the tool parameters, you'll leave this up to the AI. So just click on that button right there. You can place your own description for the tool, which is something I really like doing because then you better instruct when this should be called. So uses the encountered perplexity tools. If you do not know which tool is available, use the list tools tool before. And this is kind of what guarantees for some LLMs that they're not just going to directly try to execute a tool without knowing its schemas beforehand. Back in the list tools, let's do that as well. So instead of setting it automatically, let's place in lists available tools. Use this if you don't know which tools are available. So great, save that, open up the chat. Let me fetch for something like get me recent AI news once more. That was done and actually it brought a way better news than initially. So it brought back the news from Gemini, from OpenAI, AI and policy and ethics. So this is a much better result. Let me know what were your own results with this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.